Hey everyone, uh, tonight I have a Sprecher root beer. I hope I'm saying that name right. Sprecher, Sprecher, I think it's Sprecher. I'm going to go with the way it's uh, spelled, Sprecher. Um, I've never had this before, ever. And never anything from that brand. Although I have a few things from the brand, I haven't tasted it yet. I found this at a uh, little truck stop slash restaurant called Sheets uh, up in Virginia. And haven't seen any since. You know, I only been by there one time, and uh, next time I go, I'll pick up some more stuff, because they had a load of stuff uh, like this, stuff that I hadn't seen before. And first impression, what do you think? Look at how big this thing is. It's, it's big, it's heavy, it automatically just feels, you know, like a lot more soda than I'm used to in these glass bottles. Uh, it is 16 ounces, which is, you know, the normal soda bottle is 12 ounces. Uh, so, it does have a, you know, few more ounces in here. But, uh, first thing I don't like is the paper label. I hate that. Because this was only in my ice chest one day, and you can see it's starting to peel up. And it's, uh, bleeding through. The corners are getting marked up and wrinkling, and I, I hate that. You know, but whatever. It saves money whatever I, I get it I do like how the bottle has a uh, sprecher engraved in it on uh, both sides actually that's pretty neat um, just the size of it alone is neat it's a huge bottle and uh, simple cap sprecher root beer a little cartoony but of course what can you expect there's a crow on the front uh, I guess that's a crow no that's a uh, I don't know what that is Maybe I should have researched this. Maybe that's what I... Maybe that has something to do with the name. <laughs> uh, forgive me if you guys know what that is. It looks like a devil crow. It uh, is red with a beak. And it has a tail. And it has claws on its feet. It's like a devil crow. I don't know. Is it a sprecher? What is it? I don't know what a sprecher is. Or spre spricker? Sprecher? I don't know. Um, I'm just going to keep calling it sprecher until somebody in the comments corrects me. So, uh, this is what I got. I want to see the ingredients real quick. Carbonated water, glucose syrup, uh, maltodextrin, raw Wisconsin honey, natural and artificial flavors, sodium benzoate as a preservative, phosphoric acid, quahia, yucca extract. Now, hang on. Swamp Pop uses that. Okay. Might be going somewhere with this now. Sodium chloride, caramel color, and vanilla. It's got some... I, okay. Enjoy in moderation. Seriously. It's a soda. Are you saying that we can't drink 10 a day? Stupid. Whatever. Um, you don't have to put that on there, Spreadsheet. You don't have to at all we understand it's a soda it's got 120 calories per serving there's two servings in here this one bottle is 240 calories we understand that we're not supposed to drink 800 of them in a week or something you know we we get this what liberal made you put that on there <laughs> okay got a couple of stories up around the label here uh, this truly old-fashioned soda has a rich creamy flavor that only comes from using pure Wisconsin honey direct from the combs. Our extracts are prepared at the brewery in a handmade gas-fired brew kettle by combining honey, pure vanilla, and a host of ar aroma aromatic, aromatic, I don't know, uh, botanicals. The dark honey brew will build a delicious frothy head when poured into a frosted mug. I don't have a frosted mug. I have a mason jar. Ah, there it goes. Alright. Smells different. It smells, uh... It could just be my mind playing with me because I know it's got honey in it. But... It smells like it has honey in it. But there's your cap. Nothing underneath. Nothing special about that at all. Let's uh, not break the glass bottle. All right, here's my mason jar. That is not a frothy head. 
that is a light froth, maybe it should have been cold, I guess. Maybe that would have made a difference. But some other sodas don't need that. The same. But uh, I'm not going to have any judgment towards this soda. It smells good. It's probably going to be good. It's a gourmet soda made with natural, real ingredients. I doubt very seriously it's going to be bad. Is it going to be one of my favorite root beers of all time? I don't know. Let's see. It's pretty good. The honey, the honey does add something. It's something that you're not familiar with a root beer. You get it more on the aftertaste. Uh, I, I really like honey myself. I, I usually, uh, whenever I'm home and I have a, a Keurig, I'll, I'll make some green tea or something like that. And I'll put a tablespoon or two of honey in it. Um, whenever I make shakes on the road, uh, usually I, I pack about four or five breakfast shakes. And honey goes in those to sweeten them. You know, because sometimes you get with fruits and stuff like that. And honey is the most natural, healthy thing that you can put in there to sweeten it up. I like honey. I like this. That's really good. Light carbonation. Uh, that might just be because I've been shaking it around. Let me see. It is on the lighter side. It is a uh, lighter carbonation. It does froth some. It's just not, not what it advertised. It advertised a uh, thick head on it. There's no... Not really. It's just some froth. But, uh... That aside... It's pretty good. It, uh... As my favorite... I don't know about that. Because it's a really, really traditional tasting root beer. If you get this and you like, say, your big brands like Mug and Barks and A&W, you're gonna like this just fine. In fact, you probably like this better. But... The problem is, uh, when you get a gourmet soda like that, you expect it to go to the next level. You know what I mean? Give you something unique, something you haven't had before, like a Virgil's or a uh, Swamp Pop soda does. Um, granted, it does give you something like that with the honey, but it's really understated. That being said, that's not a bad root beer at all. That is a very good root beer. And if you're a fan of root beer, go find this. Uh, like I said, I found it in Virginia. Good luck. Uh, I assume it's up north a lot more than it is down south where I am. But uh, if you see that and you're a fan of root beer, you're not going to be disappointed. That is very good. Very good root beer. And uh, distinct taste of honey in that. Uh, I do taste a little vanilla, but not much at all. Uh, about as much vanilla as you taste like in an A&W or something like that. But that's a very good root beer. So good job. Good job, Sprecher. They, uh... Spreacher, they did a real good job with that. And I have a few more sodas from them, including, I think, a cherry cola and orange and cream. So, looking forward to those. Uh, good good quality ingredients in these things. So, that's that's good. If you like these videos, follow me on Twitter at soda underscore hunter. Facebook.com slash soda hunter. Kevin, subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment. Have you had a Spreacher before? Am I even saying the name right? Somebody let me know if I'm saying it right or wrong. And uh, spell it out for me <laughs> for my next uh, Spreacher, Sprecher videos. Uh, spell it out for me so I can say it right next time. <laughs> uh, ignore the uh, ignorant redneck driving a truck who might not know exactly how these things are pronounced because it's not around him and nobody else talks about this stuff. So I just gotta wing it. Uh, so next time, happy hunting.